think what I would like to bring to people with this particular series is just give them an impartation of, um, because this series is about birds, so flight and soaring and wings, give them a, uh, maybe an inspirational mind that they can maybe soar to higher heights, do things for this series, just to give them, give them uh, maybe wings they could fly with different ideas or maybe different struggles they have. So what I do is I start with a, a blank black canvas. Uh, I look at the, the image that I have on the side and I just really scope things out, like the feather lines, the, the way the eye of the bird is looking at me. Uh, its whole characterization comes when you start with the eye. That's how you get the character of the species of bird for me. So then I sketch the eye and I sketch the outline of the bird and then I go from there with um, with browns and uh, grays because various birds they all have so many colors like the the um, barred owl has a lot of grays and browns and blacks but because the black canvas is there then you're applying the layers of brown and then uh, because it's acrylic it's a very transparent paint so it dries super super thin so you're applying layer upon layer upon layer to get that final resting state to capture the whole painting of that bird Mm, I think my elementary art teacher, she, I think she started that process. Um, she, she was just so fun and loving and she was really into what she did and she got me into sketching. At first, you know, it's a, it's a task as a student you have to do uh, when you first get in there. But as you go along, uh, if you're one that becomes to love it as I did, you're like, wow, you look at the shadows and all that you can do with just a pencil. And then it captures you and you start drawing more and more in every place that you can, like I did, and then you have you gain a love for it. I uh, I did attend a year or so of the uh, fine arts at LaSalle College in Massachusetts for fine arts, um, and I was there for a little bit, and then I got done with that. So that's how my um, foundation started. Besides my younger ages of doodling, sketching, that laid the foundation of structure and basics and shadow, and all that. And as, as you grow as an artist, you don't just call, follow the book. You don't really go by the book as an artist. You start doing your own things, your trial and error. And with my acrylics, that's how I did trial and error. And I just using it in the way that I wanted and how I captured my paintings as you take, kind of take away from the structured um, process of the learning and you just adapt it into your own learning and your own testing and trialing. And that's where you capture your individuality in your artwork, I think. I think the loon is one of my favorites. It just, because it has the baby on its back, it just captures the moment in the water and it just, it's, you know, um, floating along with its baby on its back and it's just, you know, taking care of its baby and just swimming across the waters. So I think that captures that for me. That's one of my favorite ones. It's just such a big and beautiful bird if you see it up close it's just magical with the eyes and just when it lifts up in flight it's massive so when it takes off it's just it's amazing yeah. the most challenging for me in the art process and many sketches and many paintings is getting the getting the symmetry correct whether it be because um, I, I do so many different things uh, people housing wildlife uh, the symmetry is key in capturing the correct way in presenting the painting. Uh, as for this series, the eyes are the symmetry. Um, another attribute to this series is the feathers. The feathers are very difficult. <laughs> so that's so many hours of layering and getting the, when you do the brush strokes, the right, the right way to lay the feathers in the characterization of how the, the bird is in flight or how, you know, how it's sitting or presenting. It's just been such a journey for me to get to where I am um, using all these years to better get better with my artwork. Practice makes perfect, but not always in art. You practice and practice and you, you, take, you take what you have in front of you and appreciate it no matter how awful you think it is or how not done it is. It, art is always a work in progress. When I see people see it and they're just they're appreciative and they like my artwork, that's that's probably one of the higher rewards for me, is them just appreciating it for what it is. And just, uh, that's an applaud for me, is to know that people enjoy my artwork and they, 
they see it and take it all in.